What's up, everyone? Welcome to another special animal edition of Think About It. I'm your host, Dan the Human. With me, as always, Evie the Deer. Today on Think About It, we're talking about how we don't actually have hands. Think about it. Think about it. So, we don't actually have two hands. In fact, we don't have any hands at all. I'll let you think about that for a second. Time's up. All mammals and most living things in general, from the biggest way down to the very smallest, all have legs and feet. Now, before going any further, this one is really going to need you to fully open your mind to get it. If you really want to understand, you're really going to need to think about this. Think way outside the box. Ignore what you've been taught all your life. Ignore all the times you've heard in school, on TV, from people that, that humans have two hands and two feet. Only then will you be able to see what I'm talking about. If you can't completely open your mind, just go ahead and click on my next video. Skip this one completely. Okay, all, these, all you people that are left, check this out. Just for the sake of argument, just for a minute, believe what I'm saying is true. You can go back to your old frame of mind after this, but just for one minute, believe what everything that I'm saying is true. All animals only have legs. This is true, right? Most four legs, like cows, horses, dogs, but some have six and eight and even more, like uh, octopus, and spiders, and millipedes. And we are animals, right? This is true specifically mammals. And like all mammals, we also have four legs. No arms, just four legs. The fact that we've chosen to walk upright on two of them doesn't negate the fact that there are still just four legs. When we used to walk on four legs, and even now referring to that time, uh, no one believed that we had only two legs and two arms and that we were walking on our arms. They said we walked on all four legs. Also true. So at some time, right around the time we began walking erect, someone said, now we no longer have four legs, but rather two. Two legs and two arms. But as all my faithful viewers know by now, saying something doesn't actually make it true. The truth is, we, like all animals, have four legs. We choose to walk on the back two, but other animals choose to do this also. For example, would you say that bears have two legs and two arms? Or would you say that they have four legs? And if we and they do in fact have four legs, then we actually have four feet too. No hands, just feet. It's just that our two feet here evolved into something that we can pick up things with like cups and tools, but they never stop being feet just because we call them hands. The only thing that stopped is humans calling them feet. But one can't have four legs and four feet and then just not. These feet didn't evolve into hands. They're still feet, just lanky feet with long toes. So if our feet didn't change into hands, what did? Like I said, only the name did. Only the name of what we call these things and, re and refer to our feet, our legs and our hands and our arms changed when we stopped walking on them. Walk on feet, they're feet. Don't walk on them, they're hands. If I decided to walk on them again, they would be feet again. Some of you a little bit more enlightened may now be saying that when our thumbs evolved into opposable thumbs, our feet turned into hands. But monkeys, gorillas, and other apes have opposable thumbs in all four. But monkeys, gorillas, apes have opposable thumbs in all four of their feet. So, so does that mean that they have all four hands and no feet and no legs at all? Regardless, the truth is, even though evolution has changed the way we look and eventually may make us with eight legs or none at all, at the moment, we still have four legs and four feet, regardless of what we choose to call them, regardless of what we choose to call them. And there's actually science to back this up. Turns out all backbone animals, at least the ones with the jaw, and a belly have, do indeed have four legs. 
the two back ones of which are distinguished as hind legs. That's it. That's all there is to it. We walk on our hind legs. That's it. Now, if we choose not to believe what the scientists say, remember, don't believe anything anyone tells you. But if we actually do have two legs and two arms and two feet and two hands, then bears, raccoons, possums, kangaroo, mice, squirrels, etc., all have two legs, two feet, two arms, and two hands, just like us. I believe that the distinction and separation of us having hands came from our own, ne own needs to separate us from other animals. Although, as you can see, we're absolutely no different than they are. Either way you look at it, it'll make you think about it. Again, as always, do not believe anything you're told. Think for yourself, question out everything, and help us stop setting enslavement by hitting the like and subscription buttons below. If you like what we're doing and you want to see more, give us a thumbs up. Think about it.